star projectors Pray into the ceiling, God can help us Hey angels, what's up? It's your girl Alicia and I'm here today with another video and I'm here today with a dear God for you guys and this is just a way to motivate and inspire you guys and just to keep it simple and break down the word of God. So if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Angels Academy, a God ordained safe space for men and women to heal, to be vulnerable and to grow into the fullness of God. So if you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Come over and join the family. If you're already one of my angels, you guys know. I love you so much. And without further ado, let's just dive right into this video. Okay, Angel. So you guys know I love to read to you guys. So we're going to actually read this thing together. So come on, y'all. Okay, family. So this is the Dear God for today. It says, Dear God, what will we do today? Why can't I watch TV all day? Sometimes it is hard to get out of your pajamas and get dressed, especially when all you want to do is be lazy. But God wants you to be a person of excellence. He wants you to make every day count. You can make God happy by getting up every morning and doing what he wants you to do. So the scripture for today is Proverbs 15, 19, and it reads, The way of the slothful man is a hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. Glory be to God. So God bless the word today. And I just feel strong in my spirit that this is somebody's word, right? Somebody has been in this season and in this space. Like, I just don't feel like getting out of bed, right? Like, I just don't feel like getting dressed, right? I'm just not feeling it today. I'm just going to stay in bed and watch TV all day and understand that God is saying, like, you shouldn't have a lazy spirit, right? You shouldn't be slothful. We should be productive, right? We should get up every day and we should do something that pushes us towards greatness, right? This is what God is saying today. So get up and allow God to use you today, right? Just know that you are the answer to somebody's problem and you don't even know it, right? Because God says that our blessings is connected to each other. Glory be to God. So I just want to encourage you guys today that no matter what it is that you're going through and how tough it may be for you to push forward and just get up, I just encourage you guys today, just wipe the tears from your face, right? Just shake off the devil, right? Shake off the devil and get on up, right? Put your feet on the ground and say out loud, this is the day that the Lord has made and I shall rejoice and be glad in it, right? And rejoice and be glad in it regardless of what's going on around you, right? And God has been really speaking this into my spirit lately about how important it is to be happy in the moment that you are in right now, right? So not about waiting until you have everything it is that you want and need to decide to be grateful or be happy, right? But just waking up with that productive spirit, like that that outgoing nature, just excited for the day and just being grateful, you know, just even in that space where it's like, God, I don't have a car, but you know what, God, I'm still going to make a decision to be happy today, right? Or God, I don't have the house that I really want or dream of, or I don't have a house at all, but God, you know what? You woke me up today and today I'm going to still be productive. I'm going to still be grateful just to actually make a decision to be happy. Just make a decision. Like even if you're sick today and you're just like, I just don't feel good right god is just like trust me right because god is going to turn everything around for you so just having that spirit within you that says that i'm still going to be happy right and i'm still going to carry on this is what god loves to see right this shows god that you have faith right you have faith in him you have faith in his word and what it is that he says right that he would never leave you he will never forsake you right his word that says that he's there for you his word that says that he's turning all things around for your good his words that said that he has plans for you to prosper. Glory be to God. So get out there today, family, and prosper. Have an amazing Sunday. Do not let the devil steal your joy. Comment down below if this video was really helpful for you. Since I've been lazy, since I don't know what it is, I've just been in the spirit. I've just been sitting here moping around. <laughs> Listen to me. It's the spirit, okay? And that's fine, okay? But I just want you guys to get up. Just, just do one thing for me today to say like, okay, I'm so grateful that I got that done, okay? Because you know how we we are we could put everything aside and just sit down and binge watch netflix no we're not going to have that type of day god says that we cannot have a slothful spirit okay we have to be productive and we just have to be righteous okay this is what god is saying today so get up instead of putting off your laundry right instead of, instead of putting off going to clean that car out or whatever it is that task for you get the kids together for the school week this week coming up folding all those clothes right cleaning the house whatever it is that you need to do right that that school work, work for your business. Do one thing today that's going to make you proud. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, angels. Mwah.